guys, why is it snowing in my apartment? It's so cold in here. I need to warm up. Why didn't I prepare for this? This is much better, but I still want to know why it's snowing in my apartment. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to kind of be about winter clothing. And this is because a lot of people have reached out to me and asked me questions regarding the boots that I wear, the jackets that I wear, so on and so forth, and things that you're gonna need on the road because trust me, sometimes you just don't know until you get to that point. So let's get rolling. So my first year on the road, I was really nervous, especially because I'm from Florida. I haven't really dealt with the snow. Ever. So going into winter, I was really nervous and scared. And so I bought some winter gear, some snow gear that is made for winter sports. And I just bought this because I knew for a fact it would be warm. And I also bought it because I thought that a color like this would be easily seen on the road. Um, so it doubled as safety. And I'm gonna tell you now, don't buy things that you like and use them on the truck or to roll around in the snow because they're gonna get dirty like this. And you won't ever be able to get this out. Um, so pants like this are really awesome. Um, they keep you warm and dry. And uh, they're, they're something that I use strictly just to chain up. They weren't something that I wore all the time. Um, it's just something that I used to chain up with. And I kind of want to show you my first snow jacket. This isn't the one that I recommend buying. It, of course, is warm. But I had this thing professionally cleaned. I'm trying to see where, where I can show you. Okay, here we go. Here's a perfect spot. I had this thing professionally cleaned in some spots they'll just never come out, which is fine. Like I bought this for trucking purposes and that's okay. Um, now going forward, all I buy, and I think I've said this before, is dark clothing. I buy dark everything and if I'm going to use something for safety, then I'm usually buying vests to put on top of my stuff. Um, but that's just me, do what you want. Um, but that's my two cents as far as buying snow gear to actually like get out and do something in, to chain in, to help people. Um, you just wanna make sure you have a really warm jacket. And because my jacket that I currently have is on the truck right now, it's actually a Columbia brand jacket. I actually really like Columbia as far as <laughs> all of my winter gear goes. I don't know why, but they just seem to have the better products in my personal opinion. Um, for, for what I need and what I use them for, I, uh, I wanna kind of put some pictures in here or some shots in here having to do with the heat technology that they have in their shoes and in their jackets that help to keep you warm and, and keep the heat insulated. And funny story about that jacket that I now have. I believe I told the story in my last video, uh, my winter supplies for the truck video, that I went to deliver a truck in negative 17 degree Fahrenheit weather, and I accidentally, along that trip, forgot to bring a jacket. <laughs> I forgot a jacket. So I stopped at the Cabela's in Sydney, and a lot of you guys know um, that there's truck parking there at that Cabela's in Sydney. Um, so it's really good access. If you need winter gear, that's a good place to go. Um, and so I bought that jacket while I was there. And um, 
So that was that, and I've kept that jacket ever since, and I and I really absolutely love it. It's waterproof, it's super warm, and it's just, it's awesome, it served me well. I actually, they're bundled, <laughs> they're just balls of stuff. Um, long johns, these are really actually super awesome if you're wearing jeans or something and it's actually really cold outside and you have to get out of the truck a lot. A lot of people have to do loading themselves, especially flatbedders and people who work in the ag industry. They probably already wear this stuff and they're probably super bundled, but long johns, it's, it's never, it never hurts to have extra stuff on the truck and these will keep you really warm. So I'm gonna talk about literally like my favorite thing. Um, I will wear these even when it is not winter just because they're so comfy. Snow socks, you have to get snow socks. These are specific socks made for cold weather, not just any socks, not just any thick socks. You can buy these kind of socks that have extra padding in them at pretty much any sports store, but look for them. Usually they're colorful like this because people use them for snow sports. Um, I believe, I don't even know where I got these pink ones, but I got all of these at Dick's Sporting Goods and they're amazing and have a lot of them. Always have a lot of extra socks because you never know, your feet get either wet or they get sweaty from being in your waterproof boots and doing a lot of stuff outside. So you're gonna want a lot of pairs depending on how long you're on the road. So these are actually my first pair of snow boots. Yes, they are white. They are white guys because I don't know. You know, I thought they were cool and I thought I could, I could clean them easy and no, they've actually turned yellow over time from being so dirty, which is fine. Like I still use them and I'm still going to use them, but having boots that actually like strap up and this fur actually keeps things from falling inside the boot, which is nice, especially in your, when you're in deep snow, um, something like that is really important. So whatever shoes you have, make sure that they actually hug your ankle and snow isn't going to come pouring in. Now that being said, I have a pair of boots here and they're, I believe both of my boots are Columbia boots. These are literally my favorite, favorite, favorite boots. I don't even know if Columbia makes these anymore, but they, um, they're awesome. The reason I like these, like what I was saying before, these do not have that, uh, they won't like cinch into you. They have this little tightener, but I don't use them for that purpose. The reason I have these is because they're easy on and off, which is important to me. And when it comes to, I'm gonna say something here that I probably think a lot of people are going to be on one side of the fence or the other side of the fence. And that's, it gets super hot in the truck. I don't like to wear really hot boots like this while I'm driving all day because I can't, I don't believe that's good for your feet. I know you're supposed to wear shoes, <laughs> you know, rubber sold shoes to drive the truck and that's the law, but I don't wear shoes all day. So I love these, especially if you're not gonna use them for that purpose, use them for the purpose that you are going to wake up at a truck stop or somewhere and you're gonna need to go outside to go to the bathroom, do something and you just need to Put them on really quickly, get what you need to do done, and then take them off. These are excellent, they slip on. Awesome, waterproof, black. I mean, the top is white, and they are very dirty now. But these are my favorite, and if they make another pair, I'll probably buy like eight of them, because I love them so much. I, I was never a beanie person. It's 15 degrees. Chain law has ended. It's been a little bit. All right, so in order to enter... People are weird. I'm standing on ice, do you see this? Kinda left early. Um, like, when it came to... Cause I'm from Florida, okay? We don't really wear beanies, and the beanies that they sell down there are nothing like this. I, the Carhartt brand, I'm, this one's really dirty now, um, with fuzzies and stuff, but Carhartt, ugh, Carhartt brand beanies, so warm, and they're awesome. Um, I believe the ones that I have my uh, logo on are Carhartt beanies as well. 
they're awesome guys keep your head warm and um, if you don't want to look a fool like like I do when because if you have a lot of hair like me and you're doing something like chaining up you put your hair away because that stuff gets a mess or on the ground any when you're doing anything put your hair up okay I know I don't always do it but I'm a firm believer in it um, so if you do put your hair up and you put the beanie on, you have a cone head. Like, I think I had a cone head in my last video. First thing you wanna know about chaining um, is what kind of chains to get. Look at the... And it was, I, I think I remember BKM coming back and being like, you look so ridiculous right now. And I'm like, I don't care, I just need to get it done. So, and I think that was during my chaining. Anyways, it don't, don't look like a fool. Um, if you want to keep your head warm and you have a lot of hair like me, you can put it up in a bun and you can put a headband on like this and this will cover your ears and keep them warm, which my beanie sometimes slides up and I don't like that, but this I've used several times in the winter and it's done wonders for me as well. So all the girls out there, these things are awesome. I think I got this one at Target, so look at Target. Last but not least, you really need winter gloves. I don't have any of my winter gloves with me because they are already on the truck. I buy several pairs. If you're not dropping and hooking and using them as often as I am, you probably will not need several pairs of winter gloves, but it it's always awesome to have extra pairs. I buy mine in the children's section at Target because I have really small hands. And I go through them kind of just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe. I keep them for like a couple of months at a time before they start falling apart. I'm going to try to sew mine back together, but I rip these things apart and I don't know how or they're just really poorly made. I've had a couple that have lasted me a good six months and I also use them in the summertime too so don't let my kind of time span fool you for like how long they'll last. I use them because I work with doubles and I want the extra cushion for my fingers because a lot of people that do doubles will tell you that hooking up doubles is very dangerous. So I smashed my middle finger, you probably can't tell, but I smashed it like right on the tip. I dropped one of the um one of the chain hooks like as I was like hooking it on to the dolly it like dropped on my hand I don't know how for your fingers I was gonna say phalanges <laughs> Woo, okay <laughs> if you are one of those people who don't want to put on a full set of snow gear while you're chaining up you can get coveralls and I know Carhartt definitely sells coveralls I've never bought any because being the size I am I'm like a short, very short and stumpy person. Like I have short legs, a short torso. I'm just, I'm borderline like, I don't, I hate to say it. I feel like I am a munchkin. I am a munchkin and coveralls don't really fit me. They're either like, they drop really far down or I don't know. I just don't have them, but they are a good option for people. If you're going to get down and dirty and you want to put something on, that you can easily take off after you're done doing whatever it is that you need to do in the snow, they're a really great option as well. All right, everybody, I hope this helps. I hope we were able to put some shots in there of me in certain situations where you might use these things. Um, I have to go. I have to make this short because I am really tight. It is peak season, I literally had 24 hours at home. Actually, I lied. I've had a little less than 24 hours at home and I have to go back out because that's just what it's like during peak season. We are essentially Santa's helpers and I always thought the jingling of chains sounded like reindeer. And I am so excited to show you very soon my two new trucks. So. I don't know, I'm just excited, okay? I hope you guys are super safe in the winter time and this helped you in some way. As always guys, I don't know everything. I can't possibly come up with every situation, so if you have any 
thing to add as far as experiences, other suggestions for what should be on the list, please add them below in the comments because it helps so many people and I really appreciate you guys doing that because it's just, it's awesome to have this community just working together because that's what it's about. The trucking industry is supposed to be a family. We're supposed to work together. We're supposed to look out for each other. So let's keep doing that. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and Coda crazy and you I now. will see you in the a next one. Crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now, baby. I No, I don't know if you can see her. She's been, she's been sleeping here this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're such a sleepy dog. Bye guys. <laughs>